Hi everyone, I know it's been a while, but since I've done all the levels, well, almost, I had to make a video about which levels were the hardest. A little disclaimer, the list is based on the levels I personally have had to redo the most. They are the ones that I got stuck on. So, top 10 hardest CTR tracks. Honorable mention goes to Oxide Station. This level has two long precision jumps. You have to jump and position just right so that you get them. Hence why I always like to include precision. Number 10, Hyper Spaceway. This level has the same basic issue as Oxide Station. You have to get the right amount of momentum to get all the letters in the air. The only reason I put it as harder is because of the hidden letter shortcut and the level also just feels longer. Oxide Station's letters were more straightforward. Although if you want to see more of that, in regards to letter placement, I'm actually going to make an entirely separate video. So be sure to check that out. Number nine, out of time. I know what you guys are thinking. Why the heck is out of time harder than hyperspaceway? Now, before you start bashing your keyboard explaining to me why I'm wrong, let me explain. To get the letter T, it requires a lot of preparation and speed boosting. In hyperspaceway, if you didn't get the letter, you can just keep falling and the game will put you back. But in out of time, if you miss the letter, you have to keep going if you want to stay in first. Also for me, these type of long jumps are easier to master than precision speed boosting. All you have to worry about with long jumps is the positioning. You don't have to think about speed boosts. Or do you? Number 8. Slide Coliseum. This one was hard. The speed jump requires a lot of precision. Until that was, I realized I could just turn around and then jump up to get it. Number seven is Poppy's Pyramid. Because you don't always make the jump, and there are a lot of sharp turns when going up the pyramid, and also forgetting the last letter. Number six is Prehistoric Park. This one requires a speed jump. This level was originally below Poppy's Pyramid, but I moved it higher because of the way the last letter is hidden. Honestly, how would someone ever figure out that it's behind the waterfall? Number five is Twilight. This level was harder mainly because of perfecting the jump to get the second letter. The third letter is also hidden in a shortcut. I tried many, many times to hit that jump. Number four, Gingerbread Joyride. At first glance, this level looks like a piece of, well, gingerbread. It's a feel-good, innocent, cute level that rivals Coco Park. So getting the letters on this one must be super easy, right? And that is where he'd be wrong. Just look at this conspicuously placed caution sign. Why is it closed off in the first place? What secrets could this place be keeping from us? And why are there happy jello cubes? Underneath all its sugary cuteness is a web of lies, darkness, and murder. No, but this one is also a pain, as you don't always make the jumps. What's frustrating is there are two jumps you have to make which are in the same area, so each lap is dedicated to one letter, which leaves little room for error. Both are precision jumps. However, the other jump tricks you into thinking you need to jump higher when, in fact, you don't. Then, after going through how to get the first two letters, the last one is practically given to you. Almost as if Santa himself stepped in at the last minute to give you the rightfully deserved letter. Either way, this is one nightmare before Christmas. Number three, Clockwork Wampa. This one was very hard as I messed up every time. It requires patience, precision, sharp turns, and there are two speed jumps. The first one is the hardest to get as you have to accelerate as you're going up the ramp and then just keep going hoping you hit the letter. The other one you can still get but just hope that the stupid bell doesn't get you. 
When I won, I realized to get the last letter, you must also need to speed boost. Although I have gotten it without a speed boost, it's just harder because the bell always hit me. Number two, assembly lane. This one, you have to be really, really, really good at sliding. You can also get this one by hoarding a speed boost, but you have to make sure to actually get the letter in the process. Yes, that happened. I managed to get on the platform, but was going so fast, I didn't actually get the letter. I think of all the levels I've filmed myself doing, this one had like the most attempts. One. I gotta say, at least 30 to 40. Number one, drive through danger. This one was originally third place, since I struggled with the last two more, but I had to move it up because of how difficult it is to get all the letters. At least, get them the way the game wants you to. This one had a letter that was impossible for me to get without using an extra speed boost. You basically need to speed boost and then go up the ramp to get to the shortcut getting the first letter, then get another speed boost, then jump across the track to keep it going, then you should be able to just go straight and you'll zoom into the next letter. I don't think I need to explain, but basically, I never did that. I got to the shortcut, then fell off. Thus, this track has the most complicated way of getting the letters, so I've awarded it the hardest CTR track. Good job, Toxic Burger drive through whatever your name is. So, these were my top 10 hardest CTR tracks. What do you think? What level did you struggle with the most? Leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe for more. And if you want to see my art or cosplays, please look at my other channel, Gelati Gotti. Thank you. I'll see you all next time.